Hi, my name is Guillermo Milantoni. I'm a Senior Product Manager for AutoCAD and basically working on 3D capabilities for that great application. Uh, one of the things I would like to talk about are best practices for mesh modeling. So you may know that mesh modeling is something new that we introduced in AutoCAD 2010 for a much more flexible approach to modeling. So when you grab a mesh, you normally try to work with a primitive, which is for example a box or a cone or a cylinder, and then you can start uh, working with the faces, edges or vertices, uh, moving that, smoothing the whole object in order to get very nice shapes, either smooth shapes or just uh, straight shapes but with a much more flexibility. Just imagine what you can do in Max or Maya for example, but take all that into AutoCAD. So that's great. So one of the things I'd like to talk about is how to start. So when you're working with a primitive in, in AutoCAD, what I would suggest is to start with the least amount of faces that you may, may want to have. For example in a cube, if you want to create something, uh, some changes in, in the middle of a face, you may want to start with three faces by three faces, for example, but never start with nine by nine. Because it may look better at, the, at first, but it will increase notably the amount of faces in the whole thing and performance can decrease. So in many times, just try to start with one by one by one or something like that, and then you can start splitting those faces when you need. So you add level of detail in certain parts of the object and not in all the geometry, thus creating a big thing that you will afterwards be very difficult to control. Thank you.